So let's talk about nomenclature. This is important because in the name it will kind of tell you whether it's benign or whether it's malignant and from the tissue that it's originating from. So attach the suffix oma, this is for benign nomenclature of tumors. So how you name a benign tumor is you attach the suffix oma to the cell type from which the tumor arises. So a fibroma would be a benign tumor of the fibrous tissue. A chondroma would be a benign tumor from the cartilaginous tissue. Epithelial tumors are a little bit more complex in their naming. They're classified on the microscopic pattern, macroscopic pattern, and cells of origin. For example, you have an adenoma, which equals producing gland patterns or derived from glands. So in this case, an adenoma is either cells that when they replicate, they form kind of glands or glandular patterns, or adenoma refers to they are derived from a specific type of gland. And here's some examples. So a papilloma are benign epithelial neoplasms growing on any surface that produce microscopic or macroscopic finger-like fronds. So if they, they, if they produce some kind of finger-like projections, they're a papilloma. A polyp is a mass that projects above a, muco uh, above a mucosal surface. So in this case, this is a polyp inside someone's colon. And so you can kind of see that this uh, usually, usually benign polyp is projecting up into the colon up into the lumen and it you know needs to get cut off but usually these are benign but they can be malignant and cystoadenomas are hollow cystic masses typically they are seen in the ovary so if you have a cystoadenoma it's a hollow cyst so let's go some let's go through some of these names so composed of one kind of parenchyma cell type. So you have connective tissue and derivatives. You have a fibroma, a fibrous tissue, lipoma, which is from fat, chondroma, which is from cartilage, osteoma, which is from bone. If you have a hemangioma, which is uh, some kind of tumor of the blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, lymphangioma, and you can also have meningioma. A meningioma is a benign tumor of the meninges or the brain coverings. You can have leomyoma, which is a smooth muscle benign tumor. Rhabdomyoma, which is a striated muscle benign tumor. You can have a squamous cell papilloma, which is from stratified squamous epithelial. You can have epithelial lining of glands or ducts. You have an adenoma, papilloma, cystadenoma, which we just barely talked about. You can have a bronchial adenoma, which is from respiratory passages. Renal epithelium, you have a renal tubular adenoma. You can have a liver cell adenoma from liver cells, or urethral papilloma, which is from the urinary tract. You can have a hittitad form mole, which is placental epithelial. And you can have a nevus from tumors of melanocytes. And you can have some mixed tumors that we'll, we will talk about in a few slides. So how are malignant tumors named? Malignant tumors, they're kind of named like benign tumors. But instead of oma, you call it a sarcoma. Sarcoma is usually a malignant type of tumor. And so malignant neoplasms arise from mesenchymal tissue. Now what is mesenchymal tissue? We'll have to take you back to embryology a little bit. But mesenchymal tissue is mesenchyme. And by definition in the dictionary, the part of the embryonic mesoderm that consists of loosely packed unspecialized cells that are set in a gelatinous ground substance. 
from which connective tissue, bone, cartilage, and the circulatory and lymphatic systems develop. That's what mesenchyme is. So any malignant tumor that originates from mesenchyme or from this loosely packed unspecialized cells that develop into connective tissue, bone, cartilage, circulatory, and lymphatic systems is called a sarcoma. So if you have a zygote here, which will develop into a blastocyst, which then develops into a gastrola. The gastrola is made up of three layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. And the mesoderm gives rise to this mesenchyme. And the mesenchyme differentiates into bone, cartilage, connective tissue, adipose tissue. So any malignant tumor that is derived from any of these mesenchymal type tissues is called a sarcoma. That might be important for some kind of test where they want to trip you up. But there's the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. And the mesoderm gives rise to the mesenchyme. And any malignant tumor that originates from any mesenchymal tissue is called a sarcoma. So f a fibrous tissue origin is called a fibrosarcoma. A malignant tumor that originates from chondrocytes or cartilage cells is called a chondrosarcoma. If a malignant tumor originates from the bone, what would you call it? Osteosarcoma. So malignant neoplasms of epithelial cell origin are called carcinomas, which is different than sarcinomas. So epithelial tissues line the cavities and surfaces of structures throughout the body. And they also form many glands. The functions of epithelial cells include secretion, selective absorption, protection, transcellular transport, and detection of sensation. So if you have a malignant tumor originating from any epithelial cell, or epithelial tissues, then you call it a carcinoma. All three germ layers, the endoderm, the ectoderm, and the mesoderm, can give rise to malignant tumors from the epithelial, because the epithelial comes from all of these layers. Now, if it's a mesoderm or a mesenchyme, what do you call it? A sarcoma. If it's epithelial, you call it a carcinoma. So obviously you can have tissues, mesoderms can give rise to carcinomas, which is epithelial, and sarcomas, which is mesenchymal. And so this might be a good test question. A malignant neoplasm arising in the renal tubular epithelium can be called a carcinoma, which comes from the mesoderm. A malignant tumor originating in the skin can be a carcinoma, but that comes from the ectoderm. And the lining of the gut, which comes from the endoderm, they can all be carcinomas. So further classification of carcinomas are that carcinomas grow in a granular pattern. Those types are called adenocarcinomas. Adeno means gland, so you have an adenocarcinoma. And those that produce kind of a squamous cell, which is like a bunch of flat cells, fish-like, they say, like your skin, that can be a squamous cell carcinoma. A tissue or origin, organ of origin can be added to the name. So in the case of renal cell adenocarcinoma. So you know that there's it's a renal cell and it's some kind of glandular pattern of epithelial origin. And that's all within the name or renal cell adenocarcinoma. Or you can have cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangio refers to the bile ducts, and so you know that there's a malignant tumor in the bile ducts that is from the epithelial tissue of the bile ducts, all in the name of cholangiocarcinoma. If a tumor shows little or no differentiation, it is called poorly differentiated or undifferentiated carcinoma. 
So here is an esophageal adenocarcinoma. And this is kind of like normal. Here's normal. Kind of over here. This is kind of what it looks like. The different cells. The tissue here. And then if you come over here, you're like, whoa, what's this big mess here? I hope you can see the differences between this part, which is the adenocarcinoma, and this part, which is normal. So this is cancer. And this is normal. And you can see just the gla little glandular patterns that are forming in here. You can see a lot more cells because they're uh, dividing like mad. And it's kind of hard to see, but like this cell right here, there's a, you're looking for mitosis. Remember how we said that, you know, one cell, uh, the steps of mitosis, you have anaphase and metaphase and telophase, all those phases. Well, if you see like black elongated blobs, like darkened elongated blobs inside the cell, that's usually indicative of mitosis going on. So, you know, some of these cells like right through here look a little bit darker and elongated. That one does. Some of these cells do. So that might be indicative of cells undergoing mitosis, which is a lot uh, happening a lot more than on this side. So mixed tumors. So we have benign tumors, we have malignant tumors, and we have mixed tumors which can be benign or malignant. You can have the parenchyma cells in a neoplasm all resemble each other. Let's say a liver turns into a tumor. The one liver cell that goes awry will produce many more same type of cells. So when you look at it under a microscope, you will say, oh wait, hey, this liver cell, they all look like, when you look at the tumor, well, all of these cells look like the liver cell. And so the parenchyma cells and the neoplasm, they all resemble each other as though they all derived from a single progenitor or a single cell. That's normal. Neoplasms are of monoclonal origin. And there's been studies to kind of see if this theory is true. And it turns out that most of the time it is. So here's kind of a monoclonal tumor diagram example. Here's the normal cells. The, more, the normal cells, one cell becomes bad, erroneous, you know, gets mutated, and it gives rise to all these tumor cells. But they all look like this liver cell. They don't have like a, a skin cell, a gut cell, a kidney cell, a liver cell, a heart cell. They all look like the same normal cell. This is called monoclonal origin. But you can have polyclonal tumor, where one cell, one cell line gives rise to two different, two different types. This is called a mixed tumor. So tumor cells may undergo divergent differentiation. And that this creates mixed tumors. So divergent differentiation is somehow the cells um, diverge from the original cell type. This is rare, it's not as common, but this does happen. So the best example of a mixed tumor is the, a tumor of a salivary gland. These tumors have obvious epithelial components dispersed throughout a fibromyxoid stroma. So the stroma is kind of a fibroid myxotype, but the tumor is epithelial in nature. And this fibroid myxoid stroma sometimes harboring islands of cartilage or bone. So you can have several different cell types in a mixed tumor. So all of these diverse elements are thought to be derived from epithelial cells, myoepithelial cells, and or both in the salivary glands. So the preferred designation of these neoplasms are the pleomorphic adenoma. 
The last example of this mixed tumor is the fibroadenoma of female breasts. So in breast cancer um, is another common mixed tumor. This benign tumor contains the mixture of the proliferated ductal elements, the adenoma, and they're embedded in a loose fibrous tissue, fibroma. And so all those studies suggest that the fibrous component is neoplastic, so the loose fibrous tissue, the fibroma, is the part that is the neoplastic cells. Um, the f term fibroadenoma remains common usage, and so it might be m improperly named, but there is a mixed part the proliferated ductal elements and the loose fibrous tissue so you have a fibroadenoma. So what are some of the malignant names? So if you have tissue, connective tissue and its derivatives, you have the fibrosarcoma, the liposarcoma from fat, chondrosarcoma from cartilage, osteogenic sarcoma or the osteosarcoma which is from bone. You have the angiosarcoma, the lymphangiosarcoma, so the angiosarcoma is from blood vessels, the lymph vessels is lymphangiosarcoma, synovial, you have uh, synovial sarcoma. Now, there are some, you'd think, mesothelioma, now that kind of sounds like a benign tumor, and the uh, invasive meningioma, those kind of sound like benign because they have the OMA. Well, this is not a perfect naming system, and so you just have to memorize that mesothelioma and invasive meningiomas are malignant and they are not benign. And so the the leukemias are malignant tumors from the hematopoietic cells, and the lymphomas are from the lymphoid cells. The leomyosarcoma is a, a malignant tumor of smooth muscle, and rhabdomyosarcoma is from striated muscle. So you can have squamous cell or epidermoid carcinoma from stratified squamous epithelial tissue. The like the skin, you can have a basal cell carcinoma, which is from basal cells of the skin or adnexia. You can have epithelial lining of the glands or the ducts, the adenocarcinoma, papillary carcinoma, cyst adenocarcinoma. If you have a bronchogenic carcinoma from the respiratory tree, the re renal epithelium is renal cell carcinoma, liver cells is hepatocellular carcinoma, and so on and so forth. So that's it for kind of the nomenclature and the introduction to cancer or neoplasia.